Yo, my name is Pumvong, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to once again another realistic reboot. Now, ooh, I'm not, I've been dreading this one, bro. I ain't even gonna cap, but today we got the Detroit Lions. You know, they arguably got the worst roster in the entire league, but it's clear what they want to do, right? They traded away Matthew Stafford, and they are completely into their rebuilding phase. It's gonna be a tough one, but my goal, you know, is hopefully to get us into Super Bowl contention, whether that's year three, year four, year five. I hope I can do it, but it should be a fun one. It's gonna be tough nonetheless. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now, go ahead and like the video as well, man. Let's try to hit 30 likes again. We've been on fire lately, so I appreciate you guys. And we also just recently hit 150 subscribers, so thank you to all of you that have given me the opportunity. I appreciate you a lot. And if you're new here, go ahead and smack that subscribe button because we got a ton more on the channel and a ton more to come. It's 100% free. Scroll down takes one second, and I'll appreciate you a lot. Also, hit the noti bell so you do not miss another video. Because like I said, we got a plenty, plenty more teams left to do. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get ourselves into the Detroit Lions rebuild. Oh my goodness, the Lions roster, bro. But they got Jared Goff in that trade, and it looks like they wanted him. You know, they want to see if he can prevail here, I guess. I don't know. Isn't he on a massive contract? Ooh. Okay, um, yeah. I'm not sure if we're going to be riding with Goff for much longer, because that is wow. an unbelievable amount of money for his rating slash development. I mean... Maybe he maybe he goes crazy for us. I don't know. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna rule anything out. But yeah, if by year one or year two, you know, if we got a high draft pick, there's a franchise quarterback in the draft. I'm probably gonna draft a new one. Not gonna lie. They got Jamal Williams here, but we're gonna be starting DeAndre Swift, of course, the rookie from last season. He should be a beast. Shout out Jamar Jefferson as well. Receivers. I mean, what is going on here, bro? What is actually going on here? They lost Galladay. They lost Marvin Jones. I thought they would go, you know, with Devonte Smith, but. He, they had to go this man you guys already know but they got amon ross st brown later on in the draft he's pretty decent i made it into development hopefully he can be great for us today that's pretty much all that's here besides tyrell williams best pass catcher though probably tj hawkinson who's a beast they got darren fells as well as well as hunter bryant tight end group's pretty good tj hawkinson hopefully can carry the load for the entire passing game but here we go their number seven overall pick panay who will, of course gave him superstar development the best tackle prospect the best offensive lineman in this entire class an absolute animal should be great for us 76 overall out of oregon of course yeah he's gonna be a franchise tackle for us the o-line low-key is good tyrell crosby we moved inside frank ragnall is one of the best centers in the league and just got a massive contract as well I, I i'll put that in then jo wait what's this guy's name jonah jackson right jonah jackson still really young as well i mean and then taylor decker it's a good old line so at least like i said man building from the ground up that's a good way to do it defensively i mean there's still a few questions as well the d line i mean we got they got on Uzurike this year they have trey flowers they traded for michael brockers and why this guy be looking so mad bro Hey, yo, dude looks like somebody ate his chicken wings he hid in the fridge the night before. Bruh. Nah, he be, he be looking like his crush said she liked his best friend right before the school pictures, bro. Bruh. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. He looks like he's going from L.A. to Detroit. Wait. No, um, to a, de a detrimental effect on his health because he's not used to the cold weather over here. What? Deshaun Hand's pretty cool, too, I guess. Cornerbacks, I mean, what is going on here? Quinn Dunbar. A a warrior, a warrior. It's a very tough name to say, but he's here. But Jeffrey Okuda, I'm gonna make Jeffrey Okuda our number one. Obviously, their pick last year. I'm pretty sure he's superstar development. Hopefully, he can grow throughout this entire rebuild and see what he can potentially become. He should be an animal number three overall pick, I believe. Should be good. I mean, what did we just forget? The free safety was a position on this team. What is going on here? A 69 rated. Tracy Walker's at strong safety. I mean, he's a 74 star at least, but uh, still not too great. And then linebackers, they got Anzalone now. Derek Barnes, a rookie. I don't know too much about won't lie but hopefully i do by the end of this rebuild to vise okay jamie collins is old as ever specialist we're gonna have st brown in the slot hopefully he can do some bright things deander swift jamal williams at power back okudo at slot cornerback we got akwara on wuzirike brockers at rushed tackle trey flowers and ends alone and tavai at sub linebackers i'm not sure how this first year is gonna do i'm gonna go ahead go make the trades that the rams did with them you know get ourselves those future first round picks because that would be very nice other than that though i'm not gonna change the scheme i'm not gonna change anything see how we do man let's see how we do all right so we're gonna be just simming a mid-season here just did the trade with the rams but they of course didn't have their first round pick from 2021 so i got that from the jags we're two and five so far i mean i'm not expecting anything crazy the bears are going crazy though as they always do and of course the packers five and two if you guys missed my packers rebuild my last video man go ahead and check that out where we trade aaron Rodgers. we're two and five right now so not too bad let me just go ahead and show you guys the picks that i did get from the rams because we got it from the jaguars and then of course they're one from 2022 so that's all good of course we're in 2020 here because to get the rookies in the rams are doing worse than us right now okay that's great and then their 18th projected overall pick next year 
Okay, they're doing actually terrible for the first half of the of the season. We're two and five. I mean, there's nothing nothing too much to look into right now. Just see you guys in the playoffs. Did we make the playoffs? No, we did not. <laughs> we go four and twelve. Okay, dude, the Bears and the Packers are gonna be a nightmare in this division. I'm not even gonna lie. Let's just go ahead, skim by the stats real quick. We were 28th in offensive yards. Jared Goff. Nothing too crazy there. He's not going to be getting an upgrade or anything. And then <laughs> right at 27 on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, golf wasn't, I mean, he wasn't super bad or anything, but, you know, nothing crazy. Nothing that stands out. Rushing-wise, DeAndre Swift, only 3.5 carry. Pretty disappointing for his rookie season, not going to lie. Six, tutty, six tutties, though, not too bad. Hey, I'm on Ross St. Brown, broke 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns as well. That's a really good rookie season. And then Tyrell Williams, TJ Hawkinson had a decent year. I want him to, you know, make a big step up, though, because he really is our best option out wide. Or I guess just, you know, pass catcher in general. Tavai leads the way for tackles there. Sacks made. Ooh, nine for Trey Flowers. Other than that, everybody had nothing. My goodness. And then interceptions, three for Tracy Walker, two for Okuda. So that's nice. And then, yeah, other than that, not too much there either. Just go ahead and sim the Super Bowl week. Nothing uh, really that we need around in the playoffs. I don't even know. You know what I mean. Jaguars, Bears in the Super Bowl. Wow. Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields. That's pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. But yearly awards. Are we going to have anybody here as Matt Ryan wins MVP? Jared Goff, number 10 for Offensive Player of the Year. Oh, okay. So we had DeAndre Swift and Amon Ross St. Browns in Offensive Rookie of the Year, though. And I will take that. That's not too bad. Did we have Okuda here? Where's Jeffrey Okuda? Ooh, I'm on Ross St. Brown, number four for best wide receivers. The real question is, though, did we have any one of the best online so we can upgrade anybody? Maybe your Frank Rag? No. Nope. Okay. Then did we? Yeah, no, nobody in best DB either. <laughs> but hey, I didn't expect anything in the first season. Of course, we're tanking. We're rebuilding, right? So we want a bad team, but a high draft pick. And then we're, we're building this for the future, but development upgrades. I was maybe ex hoping, how hoping Amon Ross St. Brown would go up to Superstar. He does not, but he's still star development, of course. And he had a great season. I don't think we got anyone. That kind of sucks, by the way. As you can see here, I did give Frank Ragnow his 52 million five-year extension deal that he got in real life, I believe it was. But yeah, he's got his contract now. And then now let's go ahead and go to the defense where, of course, Okuda Superstar, but Trey Flowers, who had nine sacks, I believe, actually goes up to Superstar. So that is very nice to see. Um, not sure if we're gonna he's already 28 years old So we might start regressing soon, but superstar definitely will slower that down on Wuzurige star development Yeah, other than that we had a nobody as the Bears a divisional rival win the Super Bowl in the first season All right, do we have any players to negotiate here? Don't think there's gonna be anyone too crazy. We have Mike Ford. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care Yeah, nobody bro Okay, we got to get off some of this money soon. I'm probably going to be trading some of them. I won't, I won't trade golf just yet, but like Jamie Collins, 31 years old now, just regressing, just making so much money. Uh, Vitai, we're not even using him at right tackle because, of course, we got Panay Sewell now. He's on a big contract. We got to get rid of him, too. This is unreal. Maybe even Michael Brocker is hitting 30 now. Yeah, this team has some bad contracts, bro. Okay, so the Broncos are like the only team interested in Michael Brockers. Let's just see if we can get like a third round pick this year. Oh, all right. Well, he's gone. It was uh, it was fun making fun of him in the intro, but um, 30 years old now, 84 overall, still good, still a good player, right? But doesn't fit our timeline whatsoever. Now I'm gonna go try, I think, and trade Jamie Collins and then Tavai. No, what's his name? No, Vitai. Then our middle linebacker is Tyvel. Ty I don't even know, bro. All right, that's accepted. Absolutely nobody was interested in these two, and for good reason, but we're just going to give them to the Chargers. Get a fifth-round pick. Just a nice literary, little salary dump there because we don't have too much money, especially with that Goff and the Trey, Trey Flowers contract. It's not great for free agency. I'm going to try to sign Jordan Lewis. I think that's the only player I'm going for here. There's nothing too crazy, anyone too crazy here that I want. They're all older, but Jordan Lewis, as you can see right there, Went up to superstar development. So that would actually be a massive signing. Nobody else has a deal on him. So I'm praying we can get him here. He would be a great partner alongside Okuda for the future. No, I need him. I need him. You've got to be kidding me. Now we're eighth. Bro, I didn't even lower it that much. That's the worst part. All right, I don't... I, I tried to up it, but looks like we're not getting Jordan Lewis. You know what? I'm not going to sign anyone. We want to be bad for one more season. Let's go to the draft with, a, <laughs> with just everything in need. And see how bad we do. Yep, he rejected us. Man, that actually sucks. I did want Jordan Lewis, especially with him going up to Superstar. We don't have a fifth-year option or anything. It's time for the draft. We have the Rams pick, who were, who were really bad in the first half. We have our pick. Our pick should be bad as well. What were we? 4-12? and 12? Moment of truth? Number 2. Okay, so number 2. Is that 
Is that our pick? The Chargers are the number one pick? Whoa, and the Titans are number three? That's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and check out the picks. Is number two ours or the Rams? I think it's ours. The Rams had to have stepped it up the last half of the season. They're nine, though. Oh, we'll take that. We have two picks in the top ten. We have two picks in the top ten. That is how you start this off. Let's go ahead and check out the draft stories. See if we got the, or the high, there's nobody here. What? Okay, well, that's annoying. I don't know why that's a thing. Sometimes, okay, there is a quarterback. Terrence Gibson, he looks unreal, but he's, um, who's number one to charge The Chargers don't need a quarterback. He's the only quarterback. He's the only quarterback in the class. Terrence Gibson out of Florida State. He looks incredible. All right, so we got pick number two in the nine, and then second in the second and third round, and then we got the pick that we've got from the Broncos. This class, pretty solid. I'm not even going to lie. This quarterback, I'm probably going to go him. Honestly, I don't think we can ride with Jared Goff. He wasn't too great last season, and albeit our team is not great around him, but look, we got to build for young, the future as well, and then, you know, his contract is terrible too. We got some good receivers here. Not bad. This middle linebacker looks unbelievable, and Freddy Means got a dope name as well. Early first round middle linebacker. That could be fire. There's a lot of good people. In this class as a whole chargers number one pick they're not gonna go the quarterback so actually should i hmm I, they went with a safety okay should i try to trade down i'm not sure if i could trade with like the eagles and get the number four pick do the eagles go with the quarterback i don't know no i'm not i'm not even gonna risk it i'm, I'm thinking too much because the titans wouldn't but the eagles could i'm just gonna go ahead and take our guy for the future right now our franchise quarterback terrence gibson do me well please no 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 but you know what he actually is the number one rated guy in the class he is 78 rated normal development does suck but i'm you know is that a higher rated than golf already it might be it might be look 92 throw power he's got an arm he's got good deep accuracy this guy looks like a beast he's quick as well 95 injury not that that matters on here but 80 dude he looks decent i'm not gonna lie this is our franchise guy no doubt welcome to detroit all right let's just go ahead and sim to number nine and see who's left there was actually another qb there that doesn't look too bad elam there 71 rated but the middle linebacker is still here that other okay both the receivers are actually still here as well there's this florida deep threat early first round talent but i feel like i could wait for cornerback or wide receiver and get this guy in the second round i think this linebacker here is kind of just too good to not take right now honestly this cornerback doesn't look bad either but there's one way later yeah look at this guy in the literal seventh round we can get and it will he'll be just fine i'm gonna take the middle linebacker dude we just lost jamie collins as well maybe move him outside i don't know please be hidden no 76 rated though rank number seven good value pick double normal developments he looks decent if I could see anything with hold A to reorder out of my screen, but ah. All right, so now it's either I go for this receiver or the cornerback. I really do not know what to do here. Actually, I do know because like I said, we have that corner later on. There's no other receivers in the class. They didn't scout me any. Let's get our new franchise quarterback, his favorite target. And it's going to be Hunter Shea. Ooh. Hunter Shea is only normal dev as well. We're three for three with the normals. He's 72 rated. He's not bad. He's actually... So route running is trash, but <laughs> he was a physical specimen, so hopefully he can come and do that and be like a little Galladay. All right, so to recap the draft, we did get ourselves our new franchise quarterback, and he looks pretty decent. I'm probably going to start him right away, but we did not get a hidden development, which kind of sucks. We got this outside linebacker later on, and then Ramon Grant, both hidden, as, or no, both normal as well. But overall, it was a pretty decent draft. I kind of wish I went with the other cornerback here now, though, at number three, but let's just go ahead and see the class. I really want to see the um, cornerback that I could have got. I think it was this guy, right? Lauderdale. He's actually 76. He's only normal dev, though. So, you know, I'm not too mad about that. Just go ahead and sort this class by rating. Yep, we did get the number one guy. And he was a quarterback. So, that's sick. This class was super high rated. Yeah, really high rated. Look how many 75 plus players there are. That's actually really sick. I do like that. But I really have not seen any hidden developments at all. Which kind of blows, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and go to next season. All right, so we're making little improvements. We got Gibson now. Let's go ahead and start him over Goff. He's only one rating less and a few years younger. DeAndre Swift hopefully can get better. I'm on Ross St. Brown. I'm going to make him my number one, to be honest with you. Because he is like our one shining star here. Then we got this Hunter Shea dude, but he's going to be our fourth string. It doesn't even really matter. Hawkinson, hopefully he can stab out the O-line. Still amazing. Defensively, we got this means dude now. I moved Derek Barnes out to left outside linebacker because we, of course, traded Jamie Collins. Trey Flowers up to superstar is dope. Um, we have Ifiatu Melifonwu as well. I forgot about him. I totally did last year. Let's go ahead. Meiko Kuda, our number one again. Yeah, we are really weak. We got a rookie corner, right? The dude we drafted way later on. I'm going to move him to free safety right now. All right, well, he's actually only a 68 rated here, but 
I mean, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we still look pretty bad. Not gonna lie, specialists. Um, I gotta move Amon Ross St. Brown to slot receiver again. Then pretty much everything else remains the same. We have means of sub linebacker now. Aru, I'm calling him Aru from now on at slot cornerback. Let me go ahead and make St. Brown the slot. All right, St. Brown back at slot receiver. Everything should be good. I think I'm gonna save my coach XP for the quarterback. Cause we want to we want our rookie guy to go up as fast as possible let's just go to midseason didn't change anything kind of want to be bad again and we are three and five not as bad as okay what happened to the brown or the what the, what happened to the bears they're two and five now now the vikings are on top what in the world very weird let's just go ahead spend the coach xp on our qb of course and then yeah other than that we don't have any hidden developments to even look at right now we don't we don't really have anything to look at but we're three and five which is actually not as bad as i was hoping for to be honest with you contract negotiations is there anybody here that we would like to bring back jack fox aquar deshaun hand i don't really care we could do it at the end of the season to be honest let's just go ahead and go to the playoffs and we finished seven and nine okay i don't know what happened to the bears they just had a massive downfall so we're not gonna have a crazy high pick this year we were 29th in offensive yards this guy was not good at all we were 24th on defense, but hey, it's his rookie year. Like, we won more games than last season. Okay, well, these are really low numbers. 19 touchdowns, then 6 interceptions, then only 3,600 yards for a full season of starting. Kind of low, but DeAndre Swift was better. 4 point or four yards of carry there. 8 touchdowns for him as well. Shout out to Jamal Williams with 14 touchdowns. Okay, St. Brown, decent. Really good as well. TJ Hawkinson, okay. Yeah, we just didn't have any crazy yards, any crazy touchdown numbers. Kind of a weird season for our guy and for Neem Means, though, our rookie middle linebacker. Led the way for tackles made, so you love to see that. Sacks, once again, Trey Flowers gets 9+, plus, and on Wuzurike gets himself 6 as well. That's good to see. That is good to see. Interceptions, Tracy Walker 3. A lot of people with 1. A lot of people with 1, so that's good. But, yeah, not not much this year again. And we actually won a lot more games than I was hoping for. Just in the Super Bowl week, and it's going to be the Broncos versus the Packers. So another team in our division makes the Super Bowl, and Michael Brockers is rubbing it in our face. Because <laughs> he's on the Broncos now, I believe. MVP went to Zach Wilson. Don't think we're going to have anybody, honestly, anything. Ah, so this Elam dude that went to the Saints won offensive rookie of the year. Gibson got number two. Wish he could have got number one there, but I mean, his stats just weren't too, weren't too crazy. Anthony Means, though, goes up to start of Or, what am I saying? Go, <laughs> hopefully, he goes up to start of him, and He won Defensive Rookie of the Year, so he should. Nobody in the best O-line again. Where is, like, Rag now, or at least Penny Sewell? I'm expecting one of those guys to be there. Trey Flowers, shout out to you. And nobody in DB as well. Okay, another another down year, but of course, like I said, man, it's going to be a while before we start get, we get going here. So, the first two years, you know... Don't even worry about it. This next year, hopefully, we can improve development upgrades. Don't think we had anyone on offense. I wish this guy got more touchdowns. He could have potentially went up if he won Offensive Rookie of the Year. Yeah, we had nobody here. Defensively, Means didn't even go up after winning um, Defensive Rookie of the Year. But this Derek Barnes dude went up. The, the rookie had a last year development trade increase to start development. So that's great to see. I don't know why Okuda is my number two. Yeah, we literally have nobody else. All right, now the Packers win the Super Bowl. So the Bears won it last year. The Packers win it now. Next year means the Lions. Am I right? Um, negotiations. Negotiations. I remember checking it earlier, but I don't think there was anyone too crazy here. I mean, I guess I'll try to bring back Deshaun Hand. He's excited to stay with the team, so that's dope. And then I think the other one I'd like to get back is Romeo Aquara, of course. Let's just give him what he wants. And he thinks it's perfect. All right, now it's time to go to free agency but i think before we go to free agency or while we go into it i'm gonna try to look to move golf because it looks like we got a new franchise guy now and he should free up a lot of money because we only got 30 mil on our team is just not good okay so i see the giants have the number two overall pick so obviously danny dimes is not doing it over here let's try to get maybe a second and would they take golf it is green interest they have the money for him all right, that's actually except I know it's not the most realistic trade, but look, I'm going to take what I can get on here, okay? They, they, they weren't doing bad last season, or they did, like, do bad. You guys know what I mean. They were bad, so they want a new quarterback. All right, whatever. I'm trying to I'm tired of convincing y'all. We have 31 mil, but obviously that's going to go up because now we don't have golf. And as you can see on the top left there, it's at 46 mil here. Jair Alexander is here. Oh, my gosh. I don't want I'm going to get Fred Warner, though. I won't get Jair Alexander because I always have him on my team. There's actually some good receivers as well. Oh, Luakon, Ronnie Harrison. Okay, yeah, we can definitely upgrade the team. Free agency, we got Fred Warner here. Of course, we'd like to bring him in, one of the best defense players in the league. Ronnie Harrison Jr., we don't even have a strong safety. 
so we need him for sure Dante Jackson would be a nice addition alongside Okuda and then Tyrell Crosby we'd need back as well I know there's a Tyler Lockett there's a there's a Michael Gallup there's not much or there's not any really other receivers there we do need receiver really bad but I think I'm a draft one I think that's going to be the wave and I'm not going to spend all my money here because we want to be flexible next season for other contracts we got Crosby and Fred Warner that is fantastic that is fantastic let's see what those other guys are doing please tell me no one overtook us we are still number one on both nope I, that was the wrong thing my negotiations and ronnie harrison looks like has been overtaken from us dude we need a strong safety so bad yeah i like really low bought him i was way too low 96 points now it's gonna put us in third i'm gonna just go with that honestly dante jackson if we don't get him i can look for another one hopefully because yeah we don't we don't have anyone in that position but we got fred warner now so that is an amazing an amazing signing and then our o-line still remains intact with crosby back we got dante jackson but we do not get ronnie harrison jr and there is literally nobody here that's even worth getting all right looks like i'll draft one as well i think we have two first round picks from of course the stafford trade still and then we just got a second round pick from the whoever i traded golf to tj hawkinson uh yeah why not let's go ahead and accept that he hasn't been anything crazy to be honest with you I, I expected him to put up some crazy numbers especially being the best pass catcher on our team but i'll just go ahead and accept that let's just go straight to the draft i don't think we have anybody else and see what picks we have because we were what seven and nine this year and then who knows how the rams did but the 2022 draft is now here and let's see if we're in the top 10 we're pick number seven. Okay, that's good. Dolphins number one pick. Heisman winner, Heisman winner, Heisman winner. I don't know why last year there just wasn't one. Sometimes it does that. I don't know. Heisman winner this year went to May Kevin Mason, a quarterback. Ooh, totally forgot about this, but we have so much draft capital. Oh my, we have our pick. Of course, the Rams pick from the Stafford trade. The Giants pick from the golf trade. We have our pick and then the Rams. Last year, I traded my first third rounder for that. And then we have our third rounder. And then the Baltimore Ravens third rounder that I traded my fourth round pick for. Yeah, we have a ton of draft capital here. And it's a pretty good draft as well. There are a ton of quarterbacks. A ton of them. There's like five first round talents i think yeah look at this four that is but here is the draft board of course we have the heisman winner there if he falls to us i might take him because he's guaranteed hidden but then these receivers look unreal this guy's projected number nine i hope maybe i might trade up to get him just in case you know just to hopefully guarantee him yeah there's a lot of good talent later on as well maybe we trade um some picks to move up or maybe we even trade him to get a player let's just go ahead and sim the first few here the dolphins gonna take an edge there and then the giants they don't need a quarterback anymore. They got Jared Goff, remember? They I mean, go with a yeah. guard. Raiders? I don't, dude, could he fall to us? I think he will. The Chief, Why are the Chiefs in here, by the way? What? The Chiefs are number four. They're not going to take him. The Bears are going to take him. The Bengals are going to take him. That QB actually might fall to us. There goes an outside linebacker. Chiefs don't take the receiver. They go with the tackle. Okay, protect Mahomes. I agree. Another tackle goes. The Bengals aren't going to go quarterback. No, they... Mm, you guys just went Jamar Chase. They took the wide receiver I wanted. I wasn't going to take it. You know what? I'm taking the quarterback. I'm sorry. I'm taking the quarterback. We're doing a Josh Rosen, Kyler Murray. This guy's the Heisman winner. He fell all the way into our lap. Yes, sir. I'm taking it. Hidden development. 78. It's the same as last guy. And he's ranked number one in the class. But of course, I'm just... Dude, look at his accuracy. His throw power. Wow, wow, wow. We have, we have our guy. This is our guy, 100%. Hidden development. Kevin Mason. Welcome to Detroit. We finally... Finally may have found our guy. Okay, I wonder if I could do this with just a third. I'm gonna try to trade up with the Vikings here, so we're gonna have back-to-back -back picks. I need that receiver. I really want that receiver. Let's see if this is gonna work. It's accepted. All right, straight away, number 14 and the number 77, which I believe was the Ravens pick. And the Ravens, as you can see there, they didn't have a crazy season as well. We're trading up to number eight here, so we're gonna have back-to-back -back picks, and I'm gonna go ahead, get myself that receiver to pair alongside our new franchise quarterback, and that's gonna be Evan Barnett out of Oregon State. Give me hidden development. <laughs> No, my gosh. All right, you know what? I'm fine with it. Back to back years, we do not get a hidden wide receiver. And the Hunter Shea dude's probably like the same rating now. I don't know. Maybe that was a reach. 96 jumping. I mean, that's cool. Just sim the round two now. It's not quite the Calvin Johnson, the Kenny Galladay I was looking for. But uh, I guess I guess it's all right, dude. Our receivers are so bad. I'm not even gonna lie. These QBs are still here. There's three of them still here. What in the world? Second round now. Look at all. Look at all of these people that I have left none of them going in the second round they're all in the third and later i'm i might have to go make another trade here and trade for a banger receiver because there's like i'm, I'm just gonna be i'm not reaching but i'm reaching into their like i'm reaching as in their projected pick you know what i mean would this work no way right 
What? Okay, a bit of a wild trade, I'm not gonna lie. But we're giving away, of course, Gibson. We're literally doing the Josh Rosen thing with the Cardinals. We're giving him away because we got our new guy. As well as a second round pick. And we're getting Chris Godwin and Antoine Winfield Jr. Wow. Wow. I I did not expect that to be um, accepted right away. Especially with just one pick. But I will, that, I mean, that is, that is gonna be massive for us. We still have pick number seven and number 14 in the second round. We have so many picks here. And I think we just start taking some players. Honestly, I don't even know who. Maybe this defensive tackle. All right, so this guy's a mid third. This corner's early, and then this guy's mid as well. So I think let's just go ahead and take the corner right now. Let's be safe. He's 73 rated. He's nothing special, but that's okay. Now with pick number 14, let's go with the safety. We, we're probably going to move. Ooh, Antoine Winfield around as well. Antoine Winfield is going to be paired alongside Tony Saunders, who's our first hidden development. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine of the entire rebuild thank god amazing pick thank god i chose him now we'll go to round three pick number seven and hopefully that defensive tackle still there. i don't even need defensive tackle that bad that bad but that guy was an early first he's actually gone what if i added in a fourth round pick will that work oh okay so we get your turn gross mottos i'm gonna be moving him to outside linebacker our team looks really good now i know i made a lot of trades but look i had to revamp this team a lot all right so don't even blame me i think i'm just gonna go ahead and sim to the end of this draft and then i'm so excited to go check out the team all right let's go ahead and recap the draft now and i i remember i said uh, our first hidden guy was the safety but i totally just i don't know why kevin mason just like went over my head i guess it's because he won the heisman so like i knew he had hidden development already but dude this dude looks unreal he looks unreal. I can't wait to see what he does for us. We got Barnett, who was unfortunately only normal as well as Dansby, but a good corner and a good receiver there. And then we got Tony Saunders, a safety that's actually hidden development as well. So some banger picks. Then, of course, we traded the third or fourth rounder for Yatur Gross Matos. Just pretty much let the CPU handle the rest. Let's go ahead and check out the class now. This dude does look unreal. The dude that went number one, he's hidden development as well as 78 rated, and they're really good. And the Giants, the Giants go with a normal dev guard, 70 rated at number two. Here's Daniel Dockery, the receiver that I originally wanted. He's actually only normal as well. And 75, so I'm not too mad about that, to be honest. Our guy, of course, the, the same exact rating and dev trade. Go ahead and sort of by rating now, as the number one dude was actually the number one in the class, as well as our quarterback, of course. A lot of 77, 76. Yeah, another high rated class. These classes have been actually kind of nice, but this this year for us drafting wise definitely way better we got our new quarterback we got some hidden development so i'm super excited to go into next season's team oh man we have an 87 overall team now with the detroit lions 87 across the board as you can see there kevin mason's here of course the underswift only getting better and now we have chris godwin we have our wide receiver one Buccaneers traded him. They needed a quarterback bad. Of course, Brady's gone now. Kyle Trask was not it. They were in desperate need of a quarterback, and they were willing to take the chance on Gibson. Sad to see him go, but you gotta do what you gotta do, man. We still have Tyrell Williams. I'm actually gonna make this Barnett dude my number three. I really am. I'm on Ross St. Brown's been pretty decent as well. Hawkinson O-line still looks fantastic too. Defensively, defensively is where we went ham in free agency. Fred Warner's here, one of the best middle linebackers in the league. Um, Dante Jackson is now here, amazing as well. Our CB one now. Akuda's only getting better, and then we had we got we traded for Antoine Winfield as well, a part of that Godwin trade. That trade was crazy, honestly. I know it's not the most realistic, but look, I got <laughs> I had to make I had to change some stuff around. All right. Oh, we did get Gross Matos as well. Let's move him to right outside linebacker right now. Okay, he's now outside linebacker. That looks really good. We have Derek Barnes who actually went up last year as well. And then while I did the Gross Matos, I actually moved our drafted free safety Saunders here, moved him out to strong safety. So now our defense looks solid, bro. It actually looks really good. I signed Aquara to a, kind of a big deal. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I should have done that now. Maybe I should have looked in for agency for one. Anthony Means is still getting better. Specialist going to be looking a little like this. Jamal Williams, DeAndre Swift still here. Let's move Barnett to our slot. Let's have him go crazy. Let's move Dansby to our slot as well. Our other cornerback that we drafted. Everything else here looks beautiful. I probably should change the playbook though, right? All right, so for the schemes, I actually changed it up just a tad bit to the higher percentages and then offense playbook. We're rocking with the New England Patriots. That one was crazy for me in my Patriots reboot. If you guys haven't go seen that, go check it out. Mac Jones was unbelievable in that playbook and then defensively the green bay one my last video it was pretty good as well so i'm gonna stick with it see how it does for us um let's go ahead and spend some coach xp now we got around 4200 what do i even use this on let's go ahead let's do dbs i think our dbs are pretty young and then o-line can never go wrong with getting the o-line up to protect our new guy i keep saying our new guy because i'm just hype we got him i don't know how he felt to us as well no let's not sim to the regular season 
Let's sim to midseason, and then we can go ahead and check out his dev trait and everything. Week 8's just about here now, and we just lost to the Vikings. We're 6-2? What? Oh my... Yo, who is this guy? Who is this guy? He just absolutely transformed our team. Okay. Okay. Dude, is it just the Patriots playbook? Dude, who is this guy? We're literally first in offense, and we're 6-2. Dude, if our defense was better, we could be literally 8-0. We could literally be 8-0 right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what's his dev trait? What? Again? Bro. <laughs> this is, oh my good, another X-Factor quarterback. Are you kidding me? Dude, I've been on fire with them. But this is exactly what happened in my Steelers rebuild, bro. Where I did not, I did not expect to get the quarterback. Because they were projected like number one. And they just fall to me. This guy's only star. That's alright though, I don't even care. The X-Factor guy is all I care about. I I am in shock, bro. I just want to I just want to check out how we're looking. We lost to the Packers. It's a tough loss, and we lost to the Vikings there. But other than that, bro, we're on fire. We beat the Patriots. We beat the Dolphins. We beat the Bills. We beat the Cowboys. This guy is unbelievable. This guy is actually unbelievable. All right, we got some contract negotiations now. I see Jamal Williams here. Don't really care about Jamal Williams, if I'm being honest. We got Oru Tavai. Oh my God, there's Loki. Nobody I really care about here. We're gonna we're gonna save all our money for free agency. And then just go ham there but dude we look good so far i can't i have a smile just constantly on my face right now i'm so happy. actually actually let me go let's do like these and then let's go change that defensive playbook all right you know the broncos made the super bowl what was it last year or the year before let's ride with their three four defensive playbook and then we're going to a base three four as well hopefully it does as well it's we're off to a great start it could it could have even been better if we had a better defensive uh first half but dude overall i am ecstatic Week 17, do we make the playoffs? Do we make the playoffs? Did we... We didn't make the playoffs? After going 6-2 and two in the first half? No way. No way. We finished a 10-6. Oh, that is heartbreaking. That is actually heartbreaking. I'm not even going to lie. Wow, I thought we would make it 100%. Okay, our offense went <laughs> went down massively in the second half. Wow, and our defense went massively up. Mason, Kevin Mason, what happened? Had the mis most historic first half of all time. He, he pulled a Russell Wilson on us, dude. Really? <laughs> first half for the first, or MVP for the first half of the season. DeAndre Swift was trash. All right, Jamal Williams wasn't good either. What, what in the world's with that? Receiving-wise, Godwin changed the offense, to be honest with you. Barnett, pretty decent in his rookie year as well. Hawkins and St. Brown, not too bad either. Defensively. Defensively, Fred Warner leads the way for tackles, of course. Defense ended up being fifth in the lead. Trey Flowers, Barnes, Onwuzurike, and Fred Warner with five sacks. They're not bad. Where is your toe gross? Matos, I don't know. Interceptions with Fred Werner. Just amazing. Both of our free agency signings, three picks each for them. Tony Saunders, our rookie. And then Winfield had two himself. Shout out Anthony Means. I'm kind of pissed off. I'm not going to lie. I was really looking forward to making the playoffs this year for the first time in this rebuild. But look, we're heading in the right direction. No doubt about that. We go 10-6 and six after two tanking seasons. It's going to be Saints and then Patriots in the Super Bowl. Let's go ahead and check out some yearly awards. Tannehill wins MVP. All right. Is our guy in here? Uh, he's actually number 10. You know, I'll take that. He finishes number 4 in Offensive Player of the Year, so you'll take that as well. And Fred Warner. Fred Warner somehow misses out to the 4-12 and 12 Vikings Eric Kendricks for Defense Player of the Year. Kind of whack if you ask me. Our guy, though, our top two guys will finish Offensive Rookie of the Year. Love to see that. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Went to Saunders. Dude, we're clean sweeping. We're clean sweeping. Dansby's in here as well. We're clean sweeping. What a draft we just had. What a draft we just had. DeAndre Swift will not be in here. I can almost guarantee that. Do we have Godwin? Godwin is in here. And then Barnett makes that as well. Do we have finally someone in the O-line? Where is Ragnar? Okay, there is Ragnar, but I'm not going to be upgrading him. Because he's already star. Fred Warner, number two for linebackers as well. And then best DB. Uh, we had Dante Jackson. We had Dante Jackson, so that's cool. We got some development upgrades to go check out. We're up to a 90 overall team. We've actually revamped the squad quite nicely, if you ask me. Do we? Am I expecting anyone? Godwin, maybe? No, not Godwin. This guy's... Dude, I can't, <laughs> I cannot believe this guy's X-Factor. He won the Heisman. We were, what, pick number seven? And just every team didn't need a quarterback, I guess. I don't know. Kind of weird. Defensively, any upgrades? Winfield. Winfield up to Superstars. Fire. Love that. Fred Warner, for some reason, is not an X-Factor as it is. Akuda, Dante Jackson didn't go up, unfortunately. Yeah, nobody else here. Quite unfortunate, but 
I am I am super super excited about the future. The next two seasons should be fire. Let's go ahead and see the Super Bowl Saints Patriots. Who's gonna come out with it? It's gonna be the Saints. All right, shout out to you. I don't think we had anyone in um in con in the contracts, right? Let's just go ahead, go straight into free agency. See how much money we got to work with. Yeah, yeah, almost 48 mil. Let's have some fun. Kareem Hunt, dude, DeAndre Swift's been trash. Like he honestly has. He's an 85 now, but like. Mm, I don't know. I feel like I have Cream Hunt as a lot. Quan Alexander would be fire. Not even gonna lie. McCole Hardman. There's some good players here. Bobby Wagner's here. <laughs> Keanu Neal would be decent. Ah, I, I guess our guy did pretty well. Jo Josh Reynolds up to a superstar. Let me go. Let me go do this right quick. Yes, sir. We have some life into this rebuild now. Cream Hunt. I gotta get him. DeAndre Swift would be a perfect, perfect number two, and it would improve our offense so much. Quan Alexander would be fire alongside Fred Warren. I can move Yatur Gross Matos back to the D-line. Rocky Sin, we need a third cornerback. He would be a perfect third cornerback. Gerald Everett, backup tight end would be nice. Kicker, um, some random backup quarterback, and then Elijah Burton would be sick as well. Just on, I just need a punter and a kicker, to be honest with you. Please give me one of those top guys, especially Brady. <laughs> would be, I literally gave him the lowest amount you can give him. Quan Alexander. Cream Hunt. Tyler Bass, Rock Yasin are here. Probably like the biggest players we had there, I think. I don't know. Let's go ahead and check it out. Those are those are massive though. Those are massive, no doubt. Gerald Everett, we're still number one in everyone. We're still the only bid on every single player that we want. Let's just go ahead and sim again. Hopefully we can get all three of them. Do me well. Elijah Burton's here. All right, where is... Ah, fifth year option. Who is this going to be? Break it to me. I think it's Okuda. Yeah, it's Okuda. Yeah, we're going to accept that. Okuda's a beast. Our defense much improved last season. You know, we got Fred Warner now. We got Dante Jackson. Now we got Rocky Sin. Our cornerback group's really good now. And our safety group's way better than what it was, what, two years ago. <laughs> Let's go in. Let me go check it out. Let me go check it out. All right, I'll just make an offer for Sternberger ever. It was getting overtaken by the Steelers, so don't want to pay any more than that. I was already lowballing him, so it's okay. We'll just get, hopefully, Sternberger. I think I was looking for. Yeah, he's here now. Brady. Really, Brady. I was looking forward to having you. Maybe a little bit disrespectful to just say uh, backup quarterback and... I didn't even, I, I offered him like the lowest deal possible. The Chargers have been down bad this entire rebuild, but let's go ahead and check out the Heisman winner. We're number 18, our latest draft pick ever, and it's going to be Carlos Crosby, a middle linebacker. If he falls to us, I'd be intrigued. All right, so the class definitely looks decent. I don't think we can get the middle linebacker, unfortunately. He was projected to go pretty early. He looked unbelievable, but we're all the way here at pick number 18. It's not the biggest need. Although, it would have been fun to trade up for him, not gonna lie. Yeah, everyone that I had in the first round is gone. I think I either go Alani Cosby here. He's a mid-first round talent. Or Quan Demps out of um, out of Ole Miss there. He's actually late. Uh, let's go Let's go Crosby then. Let's just go with the highest rating. He's okay. 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 We have life. 74 rated hidden development. Number 10 in the class. Let's go. I mean, that's amazing. A power rusher as well. Amazing power moves. Dude, that's hype. I'm so happy with that pick. I really am. I really am, man. Second round, pick number 18 now. Who do we have left? The other guy is gone. We have this safety still here, though. Let's go ahead and take him. We do need a backup safety. Have your bell is actually only 69 rated, though. And then probably our last pick of the draft here. I had that cornerback going in the fifth round who looks unbelievable out of Auburn. Mid first round, good combine besides his speed. He's as slow as a elephant. I don't know. He looks pretty good, though. Let's just go ahead and take him. He's actually he's a 74 rated. That's decent. He's number 14 in the class. Wonderful. Please, Reggie Jackson. This dude is so b All right, let's go ahead and recap the draft now. And I'm just, like, I'm so excited to go to the next season. Um, yeah, I'll, oh my god, who is this guy? Yeah, the the CPU handled the rest. We got these first three dudes who are pretty decent. This guy's hidden development, so that's fire. Uh, classic Madden, 69 rated guard going number one. And he's normal development. Oh my goodness. Why do they always do that? I'm just intrigued on the middle. Whoa, 81 rated. 81 rated and hidden development. Okay, Madden, okay. Um, here's the middle linebacker that won the Heisman, I believe. If it ever loads, let's just go ahead and check out his trait because I'm intrigued. He's actually he's actually only a star. So I'm actually not bad. I was I was I was contemplating moving up for him. Fourth season now, and I'm so hyped. We have a 90 overall squad, 91 offense, 89 defense. We have Mason, who had the most historic start to his rookie season. And then it kind of went downhill. Hopefully, you can keep it up for the entire year this time. Cream Hump should help a lot. Sternberger's here as well now. Just a little backup tight end. The O-line remains the same. Offense should be fine. Defensively, we were even better last year, though. On Wuzurika is still here. We have Aquar. We drafted this guy, Cosby. We picked up Rocky Sin. We picked up Quan Alexander, who's up to an X-Factor. Things are looking good. 
Things are looking good. That's all I got to say. Barnett's going to stay in the slot. DeAndre Swift at third down back. I'm fine with that. Honestly, and then Kareem Hunt could be the power back. Rocky sit in the slot. Aguara has been terrible. Like, he's actually been terrible. I'm going to play Beckett. I'm going to play Beckett, honestly. Gross Matos, Cosby. Actually, let's play Derek Barnes just because he's star development, honestly. And then Trey Flowers is going to be inside now with Onwuz Rike, Quan Alexander, and Fred Warner. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's deadly. I'm going to I'm gonna keep the schemes and playbooks the same. It was all right. Nothing crazy last season. We were better in the second half on defense, better in the first half on offense. So hopefully this season, it just kind of evens out. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and spend some coach XP on whatever that was. I think it was linebacker. And then go to midseason, or hopefully it's as good as last year. Last year was excellent. Week 8, we have a ton of messages. We just lost to the Chiefs. What? Now we're 3-4. and four. Now we're 3-4. and four. All right, now I'm just... Now I'm not excited. What a, What's happening, bro? Our team is so good. Our team is actually so good. 11th in offense. Don't tell me your defense went down again after finishing fifth last season. And we only didn't. All right, we're still like middle of the pack. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not great. I don't know, bro. I really don't know. I just, I kind of just have to ride with it. Let's go ahead and spend some coach XP. Let's do receivers because honestly, our receivers are, I mean, other than Godwin, they're still young and really not you know not too highly rated yet we do have some contracts to do here antoine winfield's here that's going to be a big one probably and hawkinson trey flowers d swift gross matos as well winfield is someone i like have to bring back i'm gonna bump it up just a tad bit he should accept it he's up to a 92 he's up to superstar development all right winfield you greedy bastard hawkinson let's just give him exactly what he wants here he's excited to stay nice to have you back trey flowers i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of stall on he's up to 30 years old now still good but Man, he's making a lot of money. He hasn't been anything too crazy for us. He does, he is leading like um, leading our team in sacks every season, so I guess that's good. But he's, he was ma he was making a lot of money. All right, let's just go to the playoffs where hopefully we can finally make it. Please, 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 please. We make it. We go ten and six. Oh my god, what a division! What a division! We finish on top. We're finally on top, and we make our first the first Yay! playoff appearance for the. Oh my goodness. Kevin Mason showed up in the second half, and our defense got worse. All right, what in the world, man? But still, our offense was fire. It's all that matters. Kevin Mason, 4,736 touchdowns. A little too many picks, but I'm taking I'm taking the playoff appearance for sure, rushing-wise. Cream Hunt is always a beast. DeAndre Swift, really disappointed, man. I'm not going to lie. What is he up to now? He's 3.2 a carry. He's up to an 87. Like, why is he doing so bad? Especially with the good O-line we have, too. Kind of weird. Godwin, oh my goodness. Excellent season from him. Hawkinson really good Barnett a lot of touchdowns St. Brown kind of down a little bit not gonna lie but hey our offense was fire it's defense let's check out the sack numbers we had Tra okay so Trey Flowers led the way again he's actually been really good 12 sacks there seven for Derek Barnes who we started of course Gross Matos and Deshaun Hand as well as Enrique with a four plus Fred Warner four interceptions amazing Saunders interception numbers look pretty solid to be honest with you but yeah second in offensive yards I can't be mad about that and we finally make the playoffs finally we go 10 and 6 the giants oh my goodness is it jared golf it's jared golf isn't it he's trying to get his revenge on us let's go into it hopefully golf doesn't go too crazy on us okay we win 35 24 i'll take that i'll honestly take that and now we're going to be playing the green bay packers the saints finishes the one seed and the bills in the other conference packers aren't going to be a tough aren't going to be um or what am i trying to say are are going to be a tough competitor oh my god why couldn't i think of that because of course they finished with the same record as us they finished number two in the division i don't know if they still have aaron Rodgers, but all i know is that we now have the best quarterback in this division can we come away with the win let's go 31 17 that's what i'm talking about now we got ourselves the number one seeded saints though who finished with the same record as us to be fair kevin mason kevin mason player of the week you'll love to see that but now we have the Saints. I'm scared. I think they drafted a dude in the first season as well. The Elam dude, right? I do remember his name. 10 and 6 versus 10 and 6. The number one seed against... Are we number two seed? We have to be number two, really, right? Actually, I don't know. Everyone finished with the same. Yeah, number one versus number two. The Bills lost to the Bengals. It's going to be Raiders, Bengals in the other conference. Where hopefully we can play either one of those teams. And we come away here with the win. But we are at the Mercedes-Benz Stadiums. It's going to be a tough game. <laughs> we win! Let's go! 28-17, we make the Super Bowl! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Kevin Mason again, back-to-back -back players of the week. Dante Jackson gets himself a pick too. Let's go! We're going to be playing the Raiders. 
the Raiders. If I'm not mistaken, I think they had a top pick in one of the drafts where we were still up there as well. Dude, every, everyone in the league finished 10 and 6. <laughs> Literally everyone. There's three teams in our division that did. The Saints did too. Patrick Patrick Mahomes wins MVP there. Kevin Mason at number four, so not too bad. Did we win Coach of the Year? Sean McD wow, the Bills went 14 and 2. Wow. Kevin Mason won Offensive Player of the Year, though. That's great. Of course, he can't go up or anything because he's already X-Factor. Oh, here's Ojolari. A lot of football team. A lot of Panthers. What is going on here? A lot of Panthers. Where's the Lions? Fred Warner's in there. Dope. Kevin Mason just got number two at best quarterback. Aaron Rodgers still in Green Bay, but of course, we beat them. So we don't even care that he's there. Kareem Hunt, number eight there for best running back. Devontae Adams. Godwin at number two. Godwin was unbelievable this season. How did he not get number one? Oh, Frank Ragnall just at number six. And Penny Sewell finally gets himself into the best online conversation as well. You'd love to see that. Shout out to Trey Flowers, who I probably will offer him another contract. He's been a beast, to be honest with you. Fred Warner at best linebacker. And then best DB went to JC Horn. Okay, that's pretty cool. We had we had Tony Saunders, our draft pick from last season, the safety. Of course, I'm so hyped we made the Super Bowl. We have Look, look at our offense, bro. That's all I'm saying. We have a 95 offense. We've built this team from the ground up. And dev upgrades. Godwin, Godwin. Godwin, let's go. Chris Godwin, 1,400 yards, I believe, this season. Fantastic season. I just saw that they gave him the wrecking ball. Can we not do that? Let's do, let's do rack him up. He's been good, though. He's actually transformed our team as well as, of course, Kevin Mason here. Anyone else on offense? Don't think so. Ragnow finished just outside of the top five, so very unfortunate defensively. Fred Werner went up. Thank you. Finally, this guy is still hidden development. How many, did he even play many snaps, honestly? Only 299, that's okay. Dante Jackson doesn't go up. Quite unfortunate there. Oh, Tony Saunders! Tony Saunders, our, our draft pick last season, went up to superstar. What a beast this guy's been, bro. Him and Winfield have been amazing. Amazing. Means still normal development, though. Kind of sucks there. I'm so happy. We made the Super Bowl with the Lions. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and jump in it. You guys know the vibes. We make it. They have Jair Alexander. Okay, they're actually an 88. We are a 93, though. We're a 93. That's all I'm saying, man. I'll see you guys in there. All right, here we are. I think in our, our fourth season together, in our first playoffs, we make it. It's going to be Derek Carr versus Kevin Mason here. Of course, we got the 10 minute quarters. If you guys don't know, we like to go quarter by quarter here and then play by play in the fourth. The Raiders get the first points of the game. It's a field goal. We tie it back up there to end the first quarter. It's going to be 3-3. Here we go. I just went to jump to next play. I always do that. Let's go ahead and go to next quarter. As we score the first touchdown of the game there. 10-3. 17-3. We look good. Unfortunately, we give up a field goal right at the end of the first half. Right at the end of the first half. Kind of sucks. But we're up by 11 points. So I'm happy. I think we get ball as well. Did we turn it over there? The Raiders drive down. It's 12-17 now. We get a field goal. We're up 8 points. 20 to 12 a disgusting scoreline if i say so myself but fourth quarter looks like we just kicked it off and now the raiders have the ball a big game big game right away it looks like they got us they got either sacked or got a penalty it's fourth and 14 they're punting into us baby let's waste clock let's take our time what is that a penalty nick kwitowski thank you 18 yard penalty what do you P pi gotta be something like that big gain here from probably kareem hunt a nine yard rush we're driving down quite nice here. First and five, Kevin Mason to Evan Barnett, our wide receiver, who we drafted alongside him. A big gain here on a third and seven. It's Chris Godwin for 18 yards. We get ourselves into the red zone now after a Kareem Hunt rush. Another good rush there. Seven yards, and it was a first down. Kareem Hunt's coming through, but unfortunately, we get sacked by Yannick Ngakwe. Doesn't matter. Jay Sternberg, I knew he'd come in handy. You need a backup tight end. I'm telling you, you need a backup tight end. Sternberger just came through. There's four minutes left. We're up 15 points. Okay, they're 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 back in it. Uh, they go for two here, right? They should. I mean, I guess they don't have to. But Hunter Renfro, a 45-yard touchdown. What in the world? They go for one, so it's still a one-possession game. Of course, if they go for two next time, we just gotta waste time here. I don't know why we're passing the ball. T.J. Hawkinson over the big game, so I guess I can't be too mad. Cream Hunt or DeAndre Swift this time. Do we get the third down? We do, right? Third, wait, no, it's third and inches. We gotta convert here, right? Did we not convert? Why would we pass on a third and inches with a minute left? Why are we passing at all? We just stopped time. Oh, we're throwing. We're throwing. And I'm not meaning by not rushing. I mean, we're throwing the game. Not good. Not good. Josh Jacobs. I don't know why they're running. What in the what? What are we? Are we not covered three deep or anything? Cover four? Another big game. Or a big play. Brian Edwards, 90-yard touchdown. You've got to be kidding me. It's all up to this two-point conversion, though. 
It's all up to the two-point conversion, though. Will they do it in three, two, one? They didn't get it. Oh, they didn't get it. They didn't get it. Oh, my God. Waste clock. Waste clock. We're, we're chilling. We're chilling. That's game. That's game. <laughs> they missed the two-point conversion, bro. Oh, my. That's electric. Absolutely electric. And we win 27-25 on an absolute nail-biter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was sick. That was honestly sick. Listen, dude, we did it. Oh, we did it with the lines. I was happy just making the playoffs. I thought we would make it last season. I, I, I'm just happy we made the playoffs. And for the first time in the rebuild history, Derek Carr added him to the down bad list. Unfortunately, Vegas does not get their first Super Bowl in Vegas, I'm saying. I don't know if they act, but they, they definitely have a Super Bowl in the past. I'm saying in Vegas. They don't get one yet. Sorry, Derek Carr, but our boy Kevin Mason, who you can see here, wins Super Bowl MVP, 350 yards, two tutties, 80% completion rate. Talk to me. Talk to me, Kevin Mason. Wow. Derek Carr looked like he was really good, too, though. Yeah, no picks for either team. Derek Carr, three touchdown passes, almost 400 yards. He was really good as well. Both quarterbacks put on a show, no doubt about that. Rushing-wise, Kareem Hunt rushed 23 times. Dude, we need. We just needed a running back. I don't, I don't, hey, DeAndre Swift was really good, too. Josh Jacobs was terrible. Kevin Mason, what is that, my guy? I don't know. Henry Ruggs, dude, Renfro, and what was his name? Brian Edwards had the biggest plays of the game. Those scared me so bad. TJ Hawkins had a good game. Barnett, St. Brown, Godwin, decent as well. I'm so hyped, bro. Jair Alexander could not stop it. Uh, we had no sacks at all. There was only two sacks in the game as a whole. Uh, and obviously no picks. Were there any turnovers at all? Forced fumbles, maybe? Three forced fumbles? You turned Gross Matos with one, then Kwiatkowski and Jair Alexander. We win a Super Bowl. That's all That's all I needed. That's all I needed. All right, so we do come out victorious. It was two seed versus two seed. We win by two points. 27-25. The Raiders barely, barely lost there. It was up to the two-point conversion. Very scary stuff. I'm going to go another season. I'm going to go another season. Let's see if we can repeat, to be honest with you. I'm having so much fun with this rebuild after we got that quarterback. And our, our team, like the atmosphere as a whole, just flipped. Because the first two seasons were tough. Let's be real. They were tough. We were low morale. But now we are at the top of our game. Antoine Winfield, I need you back, all right? I need you back. I'm giving you 8 mil. I'm bumping those up to 5.2 as well. Antoine Winfield, it's happy to stay. Welcome back, baby. Trey Flowers, Trey Flowers, Trey Flowers. He's been really good. He's been really good. Let's just offer him exactly what I want. See what he says. He's just not interested. You know what? That's okay. That's honestly okay. DeAndre Swift can honestly... I'll, I'll try to sign him back in for agency, but I don't want to give him an offer here. Um, Deshaun Han. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a one-year deal. All right. You know, he's going to test free agency out as well. That's fine with me. Your Turk Gross Matos, though. Definitely a guy I want to bring back. We're going to have to be playing him outside linebacker money now. Let's just give him the exact deal right there. He cannot wait till next year. I can't wait to have you next year because you got the forced fumble in the Super Bowl. Derek Barnes, a guy we... Oh, my God. Why did that just blind me, bro? Oh, my goodness. Um, He does not want much at all. I'll bump it up, Derek Barnes, because you've been a beast for us. Thank you. He's back. The Great to see. I'll just sign Jonah Jackson in free agency. Pina Senior. I haven't even seen him. Great name. Uh, everybody else here, I'll probably just try to re-sign in free agency. And we're here. How much money do we have? 42 mil. Not bad. Not bad. Of course, this is probably going to be our last season. So let's go all out. T. Higgins is here. Do we need T. Higgins? Not really. Not really. But would I like T. Higgins? Of course I would. Okay, the Bengals lost all their receivers. Tyler Boyd's here as well. Trey Flowers has a lot of bids on him. Doesn't look like we can get him back. Mm, Shaq Mason. Uh, he has a lot of bids too. DeAndre Swift doesn't though. Maybe I can just get Corey Lindsley to fill in that left guard spot. We'll see. Yeah, some weird players here. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna go try to re-sign or sign some people. You guys will see that in just right. Tyler Boyd. Why not? He's a 91 rated superstar development. Why not add him onto the team? DeAndre Swift, of course, we'd like back Corey Lindsay. Move him out to left guard because we did lose Jonah Jackson. John Franklin Myers to replace some of the people we lost on the D-line. And then Deshaun Han is sitting there in free agency as well. Would like to have him back too. Definitely wouldn't hurt. Let's go ahead and add and advance to week number two see who we could get here and it's going to be tyler boyd the under swift is back and deshaun hand so three players i'd love to see there but for the players here Corey lindsley and oh we're still number one on john franklin myers doesn't look like we're gonna get Corey lindsley though so let's just go ahead and jonah jackson hopefully is still here he is he still doesn't have a bit as well jonah jackson you just want a super bowl with us i'll give you exactly what you want it's 93 points so hopefully you can come back because hey you got the culture in you we built it from the ground up you've been here you built here you've been here when times are tough and you were here when times were at that very top baby jonah jackson's back franklin myers rejected us wow okay that uh that's kind of tough now our d-line low-key is not great we lost a lot of people there 
but is there anyone here I can grab? Pete Warner is like the best one, and he's not great. I mean, Aguara is here, but Aguara has been terrible, Loki. <laughs> I think we're fine. We'll look to draft one. Hopefully, we can get a banger, but I think I think I have the pieces to do it. I'm not going to worry about that fifth year option as well, as this is the last season, so I don't really care. So let's just go ahead, go to the draft, where of course. We're going to have pick number 32 because we were the I'm Super Bowl winners. Now. Buccaneers number one. Who did I give him? Gibson? Looks like he's not doing too hot there, isn't he? Let's go ahead and check out the Heisman winner. Probably not going to get him because we're pick number 32, but we might as well check his Donovan Peel, a defensive player. All right, let's just go ahead and send him to pick number 32. The class ain't too bad. Ain't too bad at all. There's a lot of people low-key later on I could get, hopefully. That'll be good for the team. We do. There's Look at, the, look at all these quarterbacks. This was a super heavy quarterback class, and they're all still here for some reason. All right, so everyone that I had in the first and second round are gone. That kind of sucks, but who was it? This guy, Nathan Morrison out of Tennessee. He's an early first left end. We need D-line. He skipped the combine as well like a baller. I'm going to go him. Early first round talent. You can't go wrong with that Nathan Morrison. 76 rated only normal dev though number five in the class fire good pick he probably he might play for us right away not gonna lie yeah, our d line low key looks a, a little thin now losing trey flowers losing aquara the quarterbacks are still here which is just annoying this is pick number 32 in the second round and this guy doesn't look too bad as well he's a late first but these these other guys up here look decent this corner we don't need corner at all honestly we have five good corners this guy's a mid first safety but i think this is the guy early first deontay jackson let's go him he's just best player available he's got to be early first this late on only normal dev as well ring number six though so we got five and six he's 75 rated not too bad but not too great either now i just pretty much have to pray that that other left end is still available for us here he was projected to go in the fourth round but of course we're the very last pick of the third round they're all gone Landry, I know you won out of Tennessee, bro. It's accepted. Let's go. Okay, we get Harold Landry. We're trading, as you guys saw, there's nobody left on our draft board. We're trading Hunter Shea, our wide receiver from the other year. He's gone now. He's like our fifth string anyway. And then we're giving away the third round pick. And then a future second, Harold Landry is going to come here. And he should boost our defense up even more. As you can see on the top there, the Tennessee Titans are number two in the draft class. So the Titans suck. He won it out welcome him in all right so fifth and most likely our final season trying to see if we can repeat as champions there not there was nothing else that happened in the draft so i just pretty much simmed over it we have tyler boyd now look at this receiving core bro barnett's been solid for us honestly st brown's our third stringer he's 88 rated are you kidding me cream hunt deandre swift still here our o-line has been these five for the entire video love all five of them they've been great tj Hawkinson still doing his thing as well and of course shout out to kevin mason defensively defensively we need uh should i move i'm gonna move gross matos to the d-line all right beautiful gross matos on wizarica deshaun hand still both here as well they've been so on wizarica is quietly up to an 88 rated he's actually been solid throughout this whole reboot i haven't seen his stats you know pop out too much but he's been solid i guess 88 ready can't go wrong with that cosby the star that we had last year i guess uh, nothing too crazy there but he should be solid akuda's up to a 90 now that's amazing he's quietly gone up you know as well rocky sin broyles dansby dante jackson our cornerback group is beautiful as well as our just dvg group in general antoine winfield tony saunders has been amazing we got this deontay jackson this this year quan alexander fred warner anthony means harold landry we still have hardison who i think that the cpu drafted me he was hidden development i do remember him seeing him and then barnes barnes has been a beast throughout this entire rebuild to be honest with you um everything looked good here yep Saint brown in the slot i'm fine with that rocky sin harold landry and your tur gross matos on the end yes sir morrison's actually a higher rated than deshaun hand here we'll keep him there fred warner quan alexander can't be mad about that um do I go smell my coach XP? Nah, I don't think it matters. Let's go to midseason, see how we're doing. I think last year we were pretty trash, right? We were like three and four. Oh my God, we just smacked the Packers. We're six and, dude, our division sucks now. <laughs> we're six and one. We're six and one. Amazing, 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 amazing. We have some contracts here. Not gonna worry about it. Last season, like I said, I'll see you guys in the playoffs. Hope we better make it, right? And we finished 10 and six. So starting off six and one and then ending 10 and six, not the best, not gonna lie, but we still finished number one. Our division just went down bad. I don't know what happened. Ninth in offensive yards, not too bad. Second in touchdowns overall, Kevin Mason, shout out to you defensively. 19th, what in the world? What in the world? <laughs> Our defense is so good, bro. Ooh, this is Kevin Mason's probably best season. Great touchdown to interception ratio, good yardage as well. Rushing wise, 
Kareem Hunt, obviously fantastic. And DeAndre Swift was really good as well. 4.2 carry this year. Shout out to you, D Swift. Receiving wise, Godwin, amazing. Hawkinson, good. St. Brown, pretty decent in the slot, but not nothing too crazy. Maybe I should have put Tyler Boyd there, who, you know, primarily plays a slot in real life. Hey, DeAndre Swift, Sternberger contributed as well. Shout out Kareem Hunt. And then for defense, Fred Warner, 133 tackles. My God, leads the way by a long margin for show. Sack numbers. No, no more Trey Flowers. And yeah, it went down a little bit. That's probably why we were so bad, to be honest. Or not bad, but, you know, worse. Gross Mateau, six and a half. Harold Landry, six. Expected more from him, to be honest with you. We had a lot of sacks, like, as a whole. But nothing, like, not one person had a crazy amount. For interceptions, though, we had Juan Alexander with three. Antoine Winfield, three. Two for Dante Jackson, Rocky Sin. A few people with one, so not too bad there, but... Hey, we made the playoffs at least. I'm kind of, I'm just kind of upset that we were six and one and ended up ten and six. We have the Eagles in the first round though. They go nine and seven. Jalen Hurts still doing his thing as well with Devonte Smith as the Jaguars. Wait, weren't the Bucks the number one pick last year? And now they're the first seed. Is am I correct in saying that? Where they were the number one pick, right? That's wild. They just went from literally zero to 100 and we absolutely killed the eagles in the first round uh 42 14 my goodness but now we play trey lance and the san francisco 49ers as kevin mason kevin mason wins um player of the week every every playoff game he's been an animal five touchdown passes two picks two picks is not great the niners though Niners are a tough team, always in sim. Trey Lance is always going to be good. They finish with the same. It's the 10 and 6 curse again. But the last time we were 10 and 6, last year, I think, we made it all the way. 30 24. Amazing. And now we play the 9 and 7 football team here as. Look, what, what, what did I say? Dude, this dude, Kevin Mason's wins. <laughs> he only had one touchdown. This boy had one touchdown and one passing or one rushing touchdown, I guess. But <laughs> one player of the week, he just, he just shows out. He shows out in the playoffs. He's, he's the biggest game player in the game. 9-7 and seven football team, please tell me we can go to back-to-back -back Super Bowls. We do. 31-27. Let's go. That's why I want another season. Look at who it is again. It's Kevin Mason. Dude, he actually had an unreal game. 499 yards, four touchdowns. What is with him and throwing two picks, though? But now, I did see Carson Wentz on that right side, and I do see the Colts in the Super Bowl. Carson Wentz, huh? Okay, okay, the Colts make it to the Super Bowl. They finish 11 and 5, actually. Really interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and just skim past the yearly awards as Baker wins MVP. He actually stayed on the Browns for once, and I never won Coach of the Year, but I'm not even in the top 10. I was going to say, what is my name? Uh, be a lion, not a sheep. Look, be whatever you want to be, all right? Just be whatever you want to be. Oh, look who won Offensive Player of the Year in the NFC. Terrence Gibson. I, I'm going to go check him out. I want to see if he went up any dev traits. But hey, he led them to the number one seed. So I guess he's doing his thing over there for sure. Defensive player of the year went to Isaiah Simmons. We had Fred Warner in here who's consistently been around here. Nathan Morrison, number three in defensive rookie of the year. So that's that's nice to see, I guess. Kevin Mason won best QB. Shout out to him. Ooh, best wide receiver, Dwayne Eskridge. I feel like Godwin's number two every single year. Just rag now, finally. Penny Sewell, number three, but he's already superstar. So he's not going to get upgraded. Rag now never got upgraded to Superstar. Are you kidding me? Never finished in the top five. Quite unfortunate there. I, I expected him to get up there at least once, right? Nick Needham. Best DB here. We had Antoine Winfield. That's okay. Penny Sewell getting number three is pretty fire, though. But, of course, it's not, not an upgrade. Let's go ahead and see if we got any dev trees. I'm hyped we made it back-to-back, -back, bro. Uh, anyone on offense? Maybe St. Brown? I don't know. Nah, nobody here. Yeah, nobody at all. Cream Hunt not going up. Kind of surprising as well. Defensively um i don't think we had anybody here either literally no one that's okay though shout out tony saunders bro tony saunders has been a beast actually i feel like i saw a star at cornerback i did i did i did i did who is this guy <laughs> larry curtis i don't know who he is but he's here bro okay I'm, i was going to check out get, just look at our team look at what we've built here bro oh my goodness we've been on this has been so fun honestly i've been loving this uh what am i doing buccaneers Buccaneers, Gibson, are the first quarterback we drafted. He's up to an 88 now, 26 years old. Is he still normal, though? He's still normal. Boys, we made the right decision. I know he just won Offensive Player of the Year, but after winning that, he still didn't even go up either. We made the right... I mean, our guy was X-Factor. It, it was 100% the right decision, but we made the right decision. I'm just happy, all right? Give me some props. Give me some props. Let's go ahead and go to the Super Bowl. Indianapolis Colts never have played them in the Super Bowl. De Defoe's still there. Okariki's up to X-Factor. Quiddy Pay up to X-Factor. Interesting, however, we have an 8 rating difference. They were an 86, we're a 94. They finished with a better record than us, though, so I don't know. I'll see you guys in there. All right, all right, all right. Fifth season, we made it back-to-back -back years after not making the playoffs at all, right? In the first three seasons. We should have made that in the third season, though. 
Maybe 10 and 6. Carson Wentz is still doing his thing here. Kind of love to see it, to be honest with you. Kind of hype. First time playing the Colts here. Blue on blue action. We get the first touchdown of the game, though, in the first quarter. And we get another touchdown. It's 14 0. Did they just drive down there? I think they just dri drove down quite nicely. No, we have the ball. We're driving down nicely. It's a skunk. Okay, okay. They get it back on the next possession, so it's not a skunk. End of the first half. We're up two tutties there. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and sim the third quarter now. As we do start with ball, we're driving down every time. We get a field goal, unfortunately, only this time, but they do as well. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. We're up, we're up still two tutties. We have ball as well. We're looking good. We're in... Okay, now we're... Wait, wait. Did we... How did we not have the ball? What just happened? He missed the field goal. All right, Tyler Bass. All right, Tyler Bass. Tyler Bass is selling... Cedric Abbott, who in the world? They're Cedric Abbott. Who is this guy? They get a touchdown. 17-24 now. Jamal Agnew. Um, eight minutes left. I mean, just don't sell like we did last time when we're selling. Third and six. Big game. Holy Amon Ross A. Brown. 24 yards. We're in we're on the 50 now. Love to see that. Cream Hunt is selling, bro. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Another big game. TJ Hawkinson, but unfortunately. We are not in field goal range, I don't think. So, gonna have to... Who is this guy? <gasps> Why'd I sign him? Tyler Bass. I mean, I know they're long field goals. 58 yards is no joke. But he's selling, bro. But he, he, it's not only that. It's his... He, he, what am I saying? He's giving them great field position now. As you can see, they're already on our 37. They're already driving down quite nicely. Third and two. Scotty Miller. They have the, most, the weirdest receiving courts. First and ten. They're almost in the red zone now. They get a big gain there. Scotty Miller again they're on the six they're almost they're very likely to score here unless our defense can really clamp up which they're doing third and goal on the three which they're doing Carson Wentz gets sacked from Deshaun Hand they're on the seven here what do they do here do they kick the field goal do they go for it they got to kick the field goal right plenty of time left plenty of timeouts left bang they do kick the field goal and now it's our priority our main priority to not throw the ball and to run the ball and waste clock what are we doing what are we doing? We're still past the ball. Godwin, shout out to you. But we get the first down. TJ Hawkinson. Beautiful, beautiful stuff there. And now the clock's ticking. Now the clock's ticking. I think they got a... Nope, we had a five-yard pass to Hawkinson. They're using timeouts now. Negative three-yard rush. Kareem. Kareem, what are you doing? Kareem? No, we stopped the clock. Why are we running? Oh, my goodness. If they get a touchdown here, I'm going to be so mad. What is that? Negative 57 yards. Where are they? Okay, they're on. Why did it go that way? I don't know. Mo Ali Cox, don't do anything. They have one timeout left. It's third and four. It's fourth and one. If we get a stop here, it's over. We do not get a stop there. Two red rush, but the clock is ticking. Clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. Why are they running? There's 10 seconds left. What is That's a W. Back to back season, Detroit Lions. We went back to back season. I didn't know if I was going to even make the Super Bowl at all. And we end up going back to back. Unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. This team was sick, bro. This team was sick. <laughs> One of my most fun rebuilds for sure. Tony Saunders. Shout out to you, dude. Amazing. The Colts in the Super Bowl. And for the first time as well, Derek Carr. And now Carson Wentz. Add them both to the down bat list. Interesting stuff, though, to get some new quarterbacks. You know, not the Patrick Mahomes or the Aaron Rodgers. The, the, the regulars. The Baker Mayfields. We got some new people today. And look... Back-to-back -back Super Bowl MVP. 365 yards, one only one touchdown and one pick. 72% completion rate is good, though. But hey, back-to-back -back Super Bowl MVP. This dude's off to a fantastic start to his career. Yeah, pretty low-scoring affair, I guess. Only 44 points. And Carson Wentz didn't throw a pick. He only had one touchdown as well. He was pretty decent, though. 25 out of 36. Kevin Mason was a beast, though. Marlon Mack, trash. Kareem Hunt, uh, equally trash. DeAndre Swift was a beast, though. Kind of. I mean, kind of. Kareem Hunt had two touchdowns, though. He had two touchdowns, so he was not trash. I take that back. Tim Walters killed us. Hawkinson was great. St. Brown was amazing. I think he had that big play for us. Tyler Boyd, Chris Godwin. I mean, our receiving core was dirty, bro. Receiving core is so dirty. Shout out uh, Sternberger there down at the bottom. As they have the fourth ball brother there. Tacos Flosses, Brian Staley. Harold Landry, one and a half sacks. Deshaun Hand had that massive sack at the end of the game. Fred Warner, Alani Cosby. Winfield had one. Akuda had a half one. Uzerike had a half one. We had a ton of sacks. Okariki is the one that got the interception for them. He was X-Factor, right? No forced fumbles in the game at all. We just repeated as the Detroit Lions. All right, all right. We get another Super Bowl. The number three seed this time. We beat the Colts. We're the number six seed, actually. The Jaguars went down bad in the divisional. 
I'm hyped, bro. I cannot believe we just repeated it as the lines and be aligned, ladies and gentlemen. Do not be a sheep. But before we go ahead and round off this amazing team we've built, if you guys made it to this point of the video, I just want to say I love you. Thank you. Appreciate you for listening or for watching the entire thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. And if you did, go ahead and like the video. I'm trying to hit 30. And if it's not at 30 yet and you're looking at it and you haven't liked, go ahead and do it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. Because if you just watched that whole video, you guys had to enjoy that, right? And every other video is like this as well. Bro, come on. Come on. Come along for the journey. Kevin Mason. Kevin Mason. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you could call it. I, I guess you could call it lucky. But we keep getting like quarterbacks that just fall in the draft. I don't know why. This happened to my Steelers reboot. It happened again with Kevin Mason, where I thought we had no chance of getting him. This is the number one projected player in the entire draft. We're at, we're at what? At number seven. But we end up getting him. He ends up being an X factor. He was the Heisman winner out of Ohio State. Who says Ohio State quarterbacks can't do it? Kevin Mason's proven them all wrong. Been amazing for us. Honestly, been amazing for us. Shout out to him, man. Just changed the Detroit Lions culture completely. Kareem Hunt, amazing. DeAndre Swift was really good throughout the entire reboot as well. I think he has a bright, bright future, and I think he's going to be really good next year in real life with this offensive line. He could be he could be good because the pass game ain't going to be too hot. Let's be real. Godwin, we traded for, amazing. Armand Ross St. Brown, really, really blossomed throughout this entire rebuild. Tyler Boyd we got in the last season. Barnett was really good as well. Hawkinson, this O-line never changed, never touched it. Just gave him some contracts over and over. Amazing. And a Sewell, quietly up to a 97, by the way. Didn't even notice. Did not even notice. He's a 97 amazing they got a gem there at number seven man he was just falling 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 he could have went number two you know if you know if the jets decided to stay with sam darnold but he fell to seven you take him i love the pick for them honestly your turk gross mato is amazing on Wuzurike was a beast of up to a 92 now cosby okuda who is this guy what marcus witherspoon weatherspoon where did he, wait, wait, wait wait didn't we have another dude here before wasn't his name uh i don't know what his name is but he was star who was this guy I'm so confused. I really am. Let's go check out the roster. See our cornerback's depth here. I don't even know where these guys are coming from. Yeah, the Curtis dude. This guy was the star that was there before. I don't know where this Weatherspoon dude came from. I don't know. He's, he's superstar development. So, like, I'm, I'm, hey, come along. But no idea where you came from, bro. <laughs> All right, back here. Yeah, Akuda was fantastic, dude. 93 rated. He is now. He's so good. Dante Jackson, shout out to you as well. Winfield we got. He was amazing, as you can see. But this Tony Saunders dude has, you know, more, more of a place in my heart because I drafted him. He was hidden development. He went up even to superstar. He's been great throughout this entire rebuild as well. Shout out Tony Saunders, man. I've shouted him out like three times already. I don't know why. Harold Landry, cool. Anthony Means, one of our very first picks in the entire rebuild. Never went up, unfortunately. But remain just solid like he's just good you know he's never gonna play at like a 9 out of 10 but he's just gonna give you a constant like 7 out of 10 every game and you cannot complain with those players this guy though i mean just i love fred warner if you guys don't know me i love fred warner go check out the niners reboot that's my guy one of my favorite players Quan alexander was good as well team as a whole dude fire I, I, I the smile would not get off my face i can't believe i just repeated with the lines it was a super fun rebuild i hope you all enjoyed it go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel hit the noti bells because we got more coming just like this man hope you guys enjoyed though that's gonna be it for me though take care everybody my name is pumvongsa peace